Good morning, friends. Daisy just loves rolling in the snow. It's a brilliantly sunny, beautiful day. Still a lot of snow. It's a brilliant sunrise. <clears throat> At the start of the new year, we remember that each day is sacred. We don't wait until January 1st to change our habits. We don't wait until Christmas to think about that person that we love, that we might be mad at or might be mad at us. We don't wait until this or that happens to be joyful. <clears throat> we don't say, I will try to forgive. I will be happy when I lose weight. I will be happy when I get married. I'll be happy when I have a big house. No, we're happy now. We decide to be happy now. This is the day my Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in the day. We're happy now because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. We're happy now because this is all we have. We have the promise of a wonderful day pending our attitude. It is our attitude about things that creates misery or unhappiness truly. When we have an unfortunate experience or a nasty memory. I can see the glitters of sunshine striking on the snow. When we have an, a miserable memory or, or a person has <clears throat> really disappointed or hurt us, or if we've really disappointed or hurt ourselves, it is our attitude, our attitude of forgiveness, our attitude of letting go of the pain and putting it behind us that creates a beautiful memory. So create, we cre can create a memory of hope, even through the worst, most unpleasant experiences, we have the memory of hope because we are able to forgive the most heinous offenses. We have the memory of hope because we are able to forgive ourselves when we do make poor choices. We don't carry that shame. We don't <clears throat> make that other person carry shame because hope and forgiveness are the answers. Love is what we need, not hate. This is the day my Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in the day. <clears throat> the first day of the new year, let's decide not try to be joyful today. Let's decide not try to see the beauty and the awesome splendor of our Creator's majesty. Let's decide not try to get our head out of the ditch and get our mind off ourselves and quit having the pity party picnic for one. Let's decide not try to eat our one ingredient foods, our fresh vegetables and fruits, and not villainize food or focus on food or focus on our weight or focus on me, 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 me. We focus off ourselves, and that is the key to contentment because it is such a big, beautiful world out there. We want to leave a legacy of hope. When we are focused on ourselves, we cannot see the tears on another person's face. So let's get over ourselves. Let's stop the criticizing, cursing, condemning, and comparing. Let's not control other people or ourselves with our expectations of others. We love freely and openly and generously with an agape love, leaving a legacy of hope to all. Living for it with Laura on this beautiful day, I'm going to get my exercise. This is the day my Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. Have an awesome day with me on this new day in the new year. Living Pit with Laura to get and stay, staying stable, serene and strong. I'm proud of you.